Oh, for sure. Like, I was joking earlier about, oh, I prepared this meal. No, not at all. This is my man, Chef Jeff, from 3JS Catering. Uh, he does a lot of corporate events and stuff like that. And today he's presenting a Thanksgiving menu that we were just talking about is way different. And I don't mean, the only reason I say different is because people think traditional, like, I'm just going to throw some salt and pepper and that's it. Man, you did some things over here. And I'm like, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> So we, um, we did a Cajun turkey today. So we brined it for 48 hours in a Cajun brine. That's a mix of salt, water, brown sugar, um, and my Cajun spice blend, um, well as some Worcestershire sauce and some bay leaves. And you marinate it for about 48 hours, take it out. And then we sw uh, spatchcocked it where we cut out the backbone so it lays flat and cooks very evenly. You don't have to worry about one side being more done than the other. It really makes it quite moist. And normally what I do is I put um, a rack under it there and I pour um, brine and some of the Cajun mix in there so it steams while it's also roasting the turkey. Did you tell him it was air fried? Oh, it is air fried, yes. So that was what, you know, he's like, yeah, I got this turkey. And then he's talking about the flavor profile. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And he's like, air fryer changed my life. <laughs> I got an air fryer, not as big as anything like that. But I mean, that's like the new wave. Yeah. How did you transition into that style? Um, it's just, I honestly barely use my stove now. Mm -hmm. I pretty much, majority of the time, use my air fryer for everything. Um, whether it's, I don't even use my microwave. It's very rare that I, it's just something about the crispness mm. and, and, the, and it tastes better yeah. when it's in the air fryer. Um, and a lot of times it's using it, the, own, the juices and the oils that are already there and just using it to further cook cook the item. And then let's hit them with these sides. So these sides, you know, you're like, oh, well, we've got some sweet potatoes and all that. Change the flavor profile, y'all. <laughs> We got some curried candy yams, yes. What? Curried candy yams. So it's a twist on normal candy yams. And you might think, well, that's a little weird. But the honest truth is, it's right in the same spice family as cinnamon, as paprika, as turmeric. All of those go right hand in hand. So they, they, the, when you match the sweetness of brown sugar and also the vanilla, it meshes very well with, with curry. And I'm late to the Brussels sprout tasting family, but <laughs> what you're in, bringing here is totally different than what I'm used to, and I'm intrigued. Yes, so we did some roasted Brussels sprouts, but the twist on it was we did um, my sweet soy sauce, which is um, kind of a teriyaki ginger, mm -hmm. um, also some garlic in there, and we basically cooked those, and then we um, broiled them in the oven to kind of give them that nice brown crisp top. And then real quick, hit me with the seafood mac. Yes, we got the seafood mac, six different cheeses in there. We got blue crab, we got shrimp. Um, I started with the roux, um, which is butter, and I use cornstarch. And from there, heavy whipping cream, and I mix in my cheeses. I'm sharing. I admit it. I don't have a spoon, but let me tell you, <laughs> the Brussels sprouts are on point. I don't want to stick my fingers in the mac and cheese, but I know it's going to be tasty. So if people want to find you on social media, where do they go? Yes, yeah, so it's the number three, mm -hmm. the letter J, mm -hmm. the letter S, underscore catering. Um, 3J's Catering, or you can go to my website, which is 3J'sCatering.com. All right, well, uh, I'm going to eat some. I'm going to share some with Jana, but right now, let's check in with Mark. All right, thanks, Rand. So Michelle Cohen is back, and every time that she's on, she always brings in somebody to showcase the food. So obviously, 3J's, we did that. But now let's talk about your area of expertise, and that is the decor. And one of the things that you do such a great job with, you could go high end, as high as you could go, or you could do it on a budget and get great value. In this case, you did a little bit of both. You're mixing it together, correct? Exactly. Yes, I love to do that. I always tell people, you know, my rule of thumb is always bring something you have at home that you could bring out and use. This is real crystal. This belongs to my mom. So I brought that in. But believe it or not, Mark, I got these from the dollar store. Wow, so you have crystal and then the dollar store. So you have that perfect mix, but it works together. The yes. other thing I just want to make a point of, when you talk about crystal, I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that have like either fine china or crystal and they never use it. They're afraid to use it. They should. This is the time. This is the time. And you can actually save money that way. Yeah. Doing it on a budget. And you know what I really like about it? It has a sentimental value. This means so much to me to be able to eat and break bread with my family with something that belongs to my mom or my grandmother. I love it. Now, one of the things I want to talk about too, the arrangement here of flowers. Now, okay. they're fake flowers, they're beautiful, and it's interesting because Jan and I were just talking about with tips how flowers, the reason why a lot of people don't like them because they have allergies. allergies. That could ruin your meal. My sister, Drew, is highly allergic to yeah. Her son got married, we couldn't even use fresh flowers, but 
If you get some and you take your time, find some really good ones that you can use over and over again, Mark, it'll make your table look just as beautiful as this. I love it. And then let's talk about two here. This is great. I like <laughs> it because you have a lot of flash with it, but with the dollar colors, it all works. Yes, it, we can all do it. This is high end, of course, but you can actually go and order things like this on Amazon. So you can still do a high end if you don't need to call me in, but of course I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> you can go and order different stuff like this on Amazon because you normally need one, maybe one or two right. versus me needing 20. So yeah, go ahead and try that. Even this, this came from the local Hobby Lobby. Stuff like this is great. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it works well. And then you have the fake candles there. They're still giving out light. And then, too, these candlesticks are great because they're so high, so it kind of brings everything together. Yeah. They're not lost in the shuffle with everything. Right, high end. But, again, something I have on my mantle at home. You could just take stuff like that and use it. And then, Michelle, real quick, because I know there might be some families out there last minute. They're like, you know what? We're hosting, and we are struggling right now. Call me. Call, <laughs> even for Thanksgiving? Yes. Oh. Call me. I'll be there. Me and Jeff will make time for you. That is awesome. And then what's your website or your telephone number if people want to get in contact It is coinsevents.com. My phone number is 904-962-8584. Facebook and Instagram are the same, Coins Events Decor. All right. Well, thank you so much You're for, welcome. again, taking time out of your very busy day You're to welcome. put this all together and then to uh, introduce us with Three J's now um, and feeding us. Oh, God. You guys are going to love it. The morning show, they had a great time. We saw. We, we have <laughs> video of it. There's cameras everywhere. And I must say, it was my first time eating curry candy yams. Oh, my God. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do that? But right now, we're going to send it to Jana. Okay. That Let's sounds see. good. All right. <laughs> Jana?